welcome back! Okay. Hello! Welcome back to my channel! It's me again! It's Tiffany, obviously. So, today I... well, you can probably tell... You can probably tell by the title, today I'm going to be doing an anime review. And, okay, so disclaimer, I'm not an anime expert, I just really enjoy watching anime. And I thought I'd share my opinions on some of my favorites, and maybe not favorites, with you guys. If you think I'm wrong, and that what I say is totally not true, feel free to comment and tell me, but please in a nice way maybe? Because I'd love to hear your opinions, so... Long story short, these are my opinions. If you don't share them, I wouldn't be surprised because everyone has their own opinion. So yeah, let's just try to keep things nice. Great! Today I thought I'd do a review, since I recently just started the second season, of Knights of Sidonia. Yay, Knights of Sidonia! So Knights of Sidonia is like a mecha anime, and I think it started last year. I'm pretty sure. The second season came out this year, so it's fairly new. It's only on Netflix, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna kind of just do like a review of like the whole show. I'm not gonna get into too many details because in case anyone watches this and wants to, you know, start watching the actual anime, I don't want to give out any spoilers. But I might do another video explaining like my thoughts about certain things about the anime and stuff. We'll see. But yeah, this one's just gonna be like a general review of the anime itself. So, cool. So there's a lot going on in this anime. It takes place in the future, of course. So Earth is destroyed by the Ghana. These Ghana dudes are really freaky. And like, woo But yeah, humanity has fled. They fled on like shade. They fled on like spaceships. One specific one that we follow is called Sidonia. Knights of Sidonia. There's a lot of like human genetics play in this anime. So like sorry in advance if I butcher any of these names. So not a lot is known about the Ghana and why they attacked Earth, but you begin to learn more about the Ghana. Like obviously. Humans, they protect themselves with these machines called Gardes. Guards Gardes those things. Humans fight the Ghana, well, protect themselves from the Ghana with the Gardes. The main story follows this boy, man, person, called Nagate Tanikaze, I think is properly pronouncing. Sorry, don't kill me, I can't pronounce names. The story follows Nagate Tanikaze and his adventure throughout his life in Sidonia. So Nagate, since birth, has been living underground and has been raised by his grandfather. After his grandfather's death, he eventually runs out of food and, well, he journeys up through the ground to the top and eventually emerges onto the society of Sidonia. And that's when the story starts. And that's where I'll stop explaining things. Because it's up to you to watch. But yeah, Ghana threaten humanity once again, and really the show is just about humanity, Ghana, you know, that pretty much explained it. Nice of Sidonia has a real sci-fi mecha feel to it, you know, which I really enjoy. It's really interesting to like see what's happening and like the story and like trying to figure it out and just being like totally thrown off guard because it's like, like what? I just watched the first two episodes or three or four of the second season and literally I was like right off the bat like what is happening like it gets good real fast literally like I just had to watch episode after episode because I'm that hooked into it I really like it personally I wouldn't say it's my favorite anime but it's, like I really enjoy it I think the interesting thing about it is that sure there's unrealistic things going on in the show, but of course there's also very realistic things as well. Like the science behind some of the things in the show, like they really go on to explain and like use it in a very realistic way. And that sounds really dumb when I say it, but like you'll understand when you watch. They're not just going like, oh loop-de-loop, -loop, oh cool, swim, oh, doing all the things without like a consequence, you know? They don't turn the ship suddenly without consequences happening. 
like they show even the slightest shift in their course and cause a catastrophe on board. It's really cool to see that they added like a realistic aspect to the show where in a lot of like sci-fi mecha things, mecha animes, they just, they kind of just create the show to make a good show, you know? They don't really apply like, oh, they're just gonna do all that and nothing's gonna happen to them because, you know, it's just a show. It's really interesting to see how humanity has fled Earth on these little ships of theirs. Well, obviously it's not little, but humanity has evolved through genetic engineering and like you see that in play in the show. Like, it's really interesting to see what they've created for the future of humanity. Overall, that's the Sidonia. I really dig it. There's 12 episodes in the first season, and not sure about the second season because I'm only on episode like four or something. But you should definitely check it out if you're into like sci-fi, mecha type animes and stuff. I mean, there's not much to dislike about it. I mean, there are some really dumb characters, and I'm like. Why would you do that? It just doesn't make sense. Some things, it's like, how would you get away with that? What? That- no. Stop. Overall, I can not think of anything that I completely dislike about it. I'll probably think of something later, but from me, and from my memories of the show, and from what I've watched so far season 2, I have no complaints. Just, it's good. I'm giving it a thumbs up. And that was my review, I guess. It was probably really mixed up and really confusing to follow. I'm sorry. Sometimes my thoughts just like ugh, explode out of my head and I can't say too many things at once and all my thoughts get jumbled together. Maybe I'll get better at these reviews. Hopefully I do because I intend to do a lot more. Thanks again for watching. If anyone is watching, of course, please if you don't mind and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment or subscribe that would really mean a lot to me i put out one or two videos a week we'll see depending on my schedule and stuff i want to see a comment from any of you guys that watch nights of sidonia and let me know what you feel and what you like and dislike about the show because i want to get a conversation going so yeah that's it for now hopefully i'll see you in my next video Bye!